when we think of print on demand, most of us probably think of t-shirts or maybe coffee mugs, but did you know you can sell print on demand hats? Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably more accurate to call it embroidered on demand because if you sell custom hats through Printful, they actually embroider the designs onto the hats for you. And I love that they're embroidered because to me that almost helps command a higher price point because I don't know, I associate higher quality with embroidery than with the like cheap looking hats that have the designs printed on them that I'm sure we've all seen. Uh, anyways, what I want to talk about in this video is I'll give you some insights into my journey as a print on demand, embroider on demand hat seller, as well as I'll share a quick version of the story of my first 48 hours uh, selling hats online because it's pretty spectacular. And yeah, we'll just have some fun with it. I also just want to kind of click through the Printful catalog of all the different types of hats that they have available for us to customize and sell. So let's get into it. Quick reminder to enter my free weekly print on demand giveaway. It takes like 10 seconds to enter. Two winners are selected every Sunday. This week sponsored by Flying Research, print on demand research tools, automate POD, print on demand design creation automation, all American graphics, premium pre-made graphics for your designs and Bubble Scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. The two winners all get free licenses to all of the aforementioned services. So link in the description, go ahead, check it out. Also in the description, I put together an eight day print on demand mini course, very thorough. You can take advantage of that completely free. And I put together a print on demand Facebook group that is growing rapidly. I'd love to have you there. All right, so before we look at Printful's catalog of customizable hats, which um, has been growing and contracting over time, uh, so you do have to kind of be agile because it's like one year there's a hat that's selling really well and then the next year it's gone for some reason. Um, I'll tell the story about one of my best sellers that no longer exists in a second, but as promised, I do just want to quickly share with you the uh, story of like my first 48 hours before I had ever sold a print on demand hat probably before I'd ever sold any hat ever in my life uh, through 48 hours later after I made the first sale um, I ended up doing basically I can't see the exact numbers but I think it was basically five thousand dollars in and this is just Etsy sales by the way this doesn't even factor into Amazon so actually if you factor in Amazon sales I did over like seven thousand dollars in the first 48 hours. Really, if you just look at the one day there, you can see that chart. I think I did like 7K on that day alone. So anyways, uh, and I tell the story, I don't know if I told it on YouTube, I definitely put it in my uh, print on demand full course, but it's an interesting one because I saw a hat that was in the news cycle that I was like very early to, and I didn't even think about selling that hat. And when I say it was in the news cycle, I'm not like ripping off or infringing on anybody. It was just like a athlete that made it um, kind of like in protest and was wearing it. And then the news agencies were like sh sending push notifications like, oh, look at this funny hat. And I kind of laughed about it. And then I went to the gym and while I was like working out, got the blood pumping, my brain starts working like optimally. I realized just out of the blue, like smacked me out of the ether. Dude, sell it on a hat. Like I had sold it on a shirt and then I went to the gym like, oh, let's see if I get any shirt sales while I'm here. Ended up being that I could actually sell it on hats. I didn't even know. I never looked. So I go back to my desk. This is while I was at work. I used to work out while I, uh, but back when I had a day job, right? Um, I used to have the, the luxury of working out during the day. So I go back to my desk and then instead of doing whatever I was supposed to be working on, I fire up Printful, realize I can sell the custom hats, list it on hats. Uh, I was the first person to market with this hat on the internet in general. And the rest is kind of history. So um, ended up being the next day where everybody else, I guess, really found out about it. And it was just crazy. I had to mute my email service um, because it was just sending me like notification, 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 notification um, with all the sales. Anyway, so yeah, lots of money was made in the first 48 hours and I really had no clue how it worked, what I was doing. Didn't know anything about the Printful catalog of hats available. But at that point, I was well versed enough to know that if you have something that's working, double down on it, triple down on it, quadruple down on it. So I immediately started listing the design on like all these different types of hats. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So we're just going to take a look in case you find yourself in a similar situation where, and, and you beat me to it, of course, because I'm always going to be competing with you, uh, where you see some crazy trending hat design and you want to be the first to market with it. So I'm going to show you what you would need to know. Although before we look at Printful's hat catalog, I just wanted to remind everybody that they do charge digitization fees. 
and adjustment fees. I don't actually know what adjustment fees are though. I don't think I've ever been charged that. I think I've only been charged digitization fees. But by the way, I guess I could make this a longer video, but I don't want to make it too long. It's Friday. Um, your designs probably won't need to be adjusted if you know how to prepare them. And that's something that I guess you learn over time. But the, in summary, what I would recommend is like, guys, for embroidery, the designs have to be simple. They have to be simplistic in nature. So you, uh, you, don't, you can't have too many color schemes. You can't have really thin lines or thin gaps. Like, you know how we use distressed fonts and sometimes we distress our designs on t-shirts? Well, don't do that on hats, all right? On hats, do thick because um, it's not going to translate. And I just wanted to let you know, digitization. So designers have to digitize our designs the first time they sell. After that, you're good to go, all right? So it's a one-time fee, but this is why you, like if you're selling on Etsy, you don't want to offer personalization on hats because uh, unless you want to pass that price along to your customer because you're going to have to pay $6.50 per design again one time fee but the first time it sells before it can be embroidered on they have to digitize it right if you use printful's text tool which is in the uh, design tab where if you don't upload your design and you just use their tool to create the design it's three dollars 95 cents however i personally never use it i just upload my own designs just personal preference there um because it's more consistency and uh, designs on the, X doesn't matter consistency wise. Um, for me though, it's like I upload it to, I have multiple Printful stores. So if you upload it to one store, then on all the other stores, I can reference the same source file on all those other stores. So for me, that works. Um, also, you can put designs on the back or sides of a hat and that costs $2.95 for the digitization. And then there's an increased fee. I don't even know how much, because honestly, I don't think I've ever done designs on the side or the, well, I guess this is the back. I don't think I've ever done that. Um, so I'm not sure how much it even costs, but it's worth noting that uh, with with embroidery in general, there's gonna be these digitization fees. And this is not unique to Printful. Uh, there's, I mean, I've spoke to other people that do hats. And I mean, somebody that I spoke to that has their own machinery, so they were able to offer me a much cheaper fulfillment cost for the hat, but the digitization was going to be like 15 bucks, you know? So it's kind of like a here nor there type thing. Uh, anyways. Oh, and look, they said, if you order 25 or more embroidery products in a single order, they digitize all of the embroidery designs for free. Interesting. So just wanted to point that out, but now let's take a look at Printful and their catalog of hats. And by the way, before I forget, anybody that's not on Printful yet, there's going to be a link at the top of the description. So you can use that to go sign up for a free account. All right, so here we are on Printful's website. And like I said, they add hats, they remove hats. Uh, I guess it really comes down to their supplier's capacity to fulfill them. Uh, first, let me show you like the best selling hats that I've, well, in my experience, what the best sellers have been over time. So this one right here, the Flatbill Yupong 6007 is definitely a best seller uh, in my experience. It's also... I don't think they sell any hats for less than $13.95 actually. So, um, sorry, I lost my spot there. Yeah, so $13.95 I think is like the lowest cost you'll see on any hat. And I've sold a lot of these Yupong 6007 like flat bill, I call them like flat bill snapback caps. Um, when I had that first day where everything was really successful, this was actually my best seller, this uh, auto cap 154. Um, but this one I would not recommend selling because it looks well they actually fixed the mock-ups but when i was selling it the mock-ups were black and what they were shipping to people were like even lighter gray than this looks like the color gray is like this hat right here that you see me wearing so that's something worth noting uh, i would stay away from that mesh snapback cap uh, another best seller let me show you this is probably like the best seller if i had to choose one uh, and it's the yupong 6245 classic dad hat so this one it comes in what four eight, nine different colors. Uh, for me, the two best sellers are going to be the white and the black. Oh, actually the Navy has been selling really well. Um, and there, you know, I'll show you another one too, that sells really well in Navy. I don't know. Why is it? What's, what's up with the Navy hats? If you know, hit me up in the comments below. Cause I'm going to show you another hat where the Navy has caused me so many headaches because I offer it in four colors, but Navy sells out all the time. And when it sells out and I have customers buying it from me, it causes a real headache. So um, yeah, let me know why people wear navy hats so often. And let me show you my favorite. Check this one out. They have like a camo hat too that you can do uh, embroidery on. Like somebody ordered a hat design related to Bitcoin. 
and I don't know what I did. I think I switched the return address for products. Like I don't, I tr- I do returnless refund, ref- I do returnless refunds on Amazon, but sometimes people still ship it back to me. And I think I switched the address to my parents' house because I got tired of dealing with it. And my mom was like, hey, this is a really nice hat. I wish I had it on me. I don't know if I brought it. If I did, no, I don't think I have it. I think I told her to keep it. But I just saw her the other day and she's like, this Bitcoin hat's really nice. And it was this hat right here with the camo. And um, the way I did the embroidery, because as you would imagine, like with camo, different colors, it's kind of hard to do the contrast. But the design itself had like a, a flat background on it. So they embroidered the background and then they had the text inside the background and um, it looked really nice. I mean, I, if I can ever find it, I'll, I'll put like a photo on Twitter or something. You can see it. Uh, what else? Um, these vintage auto caps, they're relatively new uh, and they sell pretty well, at least in my experience. Um, red hats, if you sell anything like Trump or politics related, you know, you don't get that many options as far as red hats. So this is worth noting that they do have a red one here. Um, they used to have, it's not even listed anymore. They had a hat that was from, oh, I can't remember the people that produced it. It was called Bayside. They had a Bayside 3630 dad hat and they're made in the USA. And what's interesting is I got to test the waters like would customers purchase hats at a higher price point if it's made in the USA? And I found, yes, they would. Like uh, I found that they absolutely would. I was charging like with shipping like 32, 33 bucks for the hats. People are buying them. So um, then the cool thing about them was that they had a red hat as well. Uh, again, if you want to sell politics and say made in the USA and have a red hat for the you know people that like um, Trump and whatnot, like that was a good combination and it no longer exists. So if you need to backfill those orders, you may want to consider selling the closed back structure FlexFit 6277, which does come in red. It also comes in a small and a large. So I never sell the small. I only sell the large slash XL because I don't know. I don't want returns when people say it's too small. Um, By the way, guys, if you sell a hat that sells out, like let me show you the example I was thinking about earlier. This distressed dad hat, distressed dad hat, auto cap 104, 1018. You don't have to memorize the numbers. I don't know why I feel the need to say them. This distressed hat right here though, I love it. It looks really cool. Um, By the way, I've seen like all of these hats via the returns. Um, I don't have them on me because honestly, I just give them to my parents. My parents like donate them, but I've seen them. They look really nice for some reason. This one specifically, the Navy blue one sells extremely well. However, I stopped uploading it because multiple times Printful has run out of them. And when Printful runs out, I I mean, there's no backup fulfillment center that I have to fulfill those orders. So then I have to message the customers and guys, do you, you know me, my subscribers that know me anyways, you know, I don't want to be dealing with that crap. I want to be doing other things. I don't want to be like messaging customers, waiting for them to respond. If they don't respond, I can't forget that I have to cancel the order. Otherwise Amazon gets mad or whatever platform you're on, it gets mad. Um, so it was too much of a headache. I just stopped listing the, the Navy blue ones. Um, so yeah, that's interesting note. I don't know why it's so popular. I also went back in time and deleted all of the Navy blue ones. Um, which would also, while I'm thinking about it, like if you keep a consistent naming convention, then you're able to kind of search your own inventory and select all of them and then mass delete them if you end up doing what I did. Um, so just worth considering. Um, I do have, let me go back. So if I go to all hats here, they do have a ton of hats. This one's new right here. Uh, they have like this tie dye. Oh, I didn't even know they have multiple tie dyes. That's cool. Yeah, I've never sold a single one of these. I don't think I've even listed them for sale. I just think it looks weird. I probably should just mess around and do it for fun just so I can say I did. Uh, The Adidas golf cap, that's pretty cool. Really high price point at like $22 though. I think there's a champion hat that's super expensive as well. Well, I guess the champion hat doesn't look as expensive. (laughs) The $19 champion hat doesn't look as bad next to the Adidas $23 hat. Um, But maybe if you're selling like golf related designs, by the way, when you come to Printful, guys, you can click the on the right-hand side here above where I'm pointing. You can hit like front, back, right side. Um, so this one does look really cool. My one suggestion is when you're pricing your hats, aim to make at least $10 profit because keep in mind your platform is going to take their referral fee. Then you have the digitization fee, which of course only, ref- only applies the first time, but you still don't want to lose money on the first time, right? So I, I aim for $10 profit per. Um... They have a youth baseball cap. I've never listed these or sold these because youth hats just seem so niche. I don't even spend time doing it. Um, as far as snapbacks go, 
these two were very successful for me when I hit that first 48 hour success, like massive success that I had where I sold $7,000 plus. Um, the classic snapback Yupong 6089. There's just a ton of colors. So when I push to Amazon, I just select everything. And then I optimize my design so that it looks good against all the colors. Now on the flip side, there's one other one, the AutoCap 125. And when I push these to Amazon, I don't select the two white ones because I typically optimize my designs to look good against a dark color because as you can see, most of them are darker colors. And then these two right here, I don't want to do white on white so because that'll just result in a return. So I don't select the two white variations. Um, this trucker cap, I've never sold one of. I don't think I've ever pushed them because it looks so similar to this other trucker cap from Yupong. And by the way, that one was $3 more expensive than this trucker cap from Yupong, the Yupong 606, which comes in uh, nine different colors. Typically, when I push these, I just select the first three and make those available for sale. So when I do my hat pushes, by the way, guys, I guess I can just walk you through at a minimum how I might do it if I push a new design to Amazon where I have a G10 exemption. It costs me nothing to create those listings. And if you're like, how does that work? I want to learn. You you are a good candidate for my full print on demand course, which is linked in the description. I'm just saying you can learn more about it by clicking the link and listening to the video there. Um, but this is how I do it basically. So I'll come, I go to, this is the order I push them into. <laughs> I don't know why I have like, I'm like a robot. If I do them in order though, at least I know I'm not going to forget. So I do the Yupong 607. Then I do the uh, Yupong 606 right here. So the snapback and then the trucker cap. Then I come on over to the dad cap right here. I do the Yupong 6245 that I said is probably the best seller for me. Then I go over here to the beanies and I do the Yupong 1501 KC for 1375. Oh, I stand corrected. 1375 is cheaper than 1395 that I mentioned. And look at this over here. There's another beanie that's 1325. So it got even cheaper. Um, they have some all over print beanies as well. That's interesting. I didn't even know that. I guess that's why we do these videos. I, I come on camera, we all get to learn together. And they added a new uh, auto cap beanie that wasn't there. Um, anyways, back on what I was saying. What I was saying. So I do the Yupong 1501. Then I do the uh, Sportsman SP15 for $14. It's the, I call it the pom pom beanie. Um, after that, I bounce over to the five panel hat. And I do this one right here, the Yupong 7005, which by the way, they just added, it's weird. I don't know if Printful like didn't realize they messed up or if it was intentional, but like this red mock-up always existed, even though the red color was never available. And I'm talking like, what do I have? 19, 20, 20 almost three years experience selling hats through Printful. This mock-up existed, the color was never available. So I don't know, that just became available recently. Um, so now you can actually sell it. Uh, then I come on over here to the visor. Sorry that it moves a little bit slow sometimes. And I sell the FlexFit 8110 visor, which has a 1695 price point. So of course that is a little bit high, especially when I say charge $10 profit, which means I'm charging 27 bucks, but you know, people pay. So is what it is like, like guys, you need to make a certain amount of money for it to be worth your time. So figure out what it's worth to you. All right. I know what it's worth to me. Uh, and then bucket hat i come on over here i drop the bx003 bucket hat uh for sale i will mention since i was doing it earlier that i've had issues with this one going out of stock as well uh, i have nothing to do with them keeping it in stock it's just printful so um you may have issues with the bucket hats let me know let me know if you've had issues with hats by the way in the comments below or if you sell them through other websites or anything like that i love hearing the feedback uh and then after the bucket hat I pop on back over to the dad hats because I think dad hats sell the best, generally speaking. And then I push the um, vintage cap from auto caps, the one that right here that I was showing you earlier. After that, is it going to reset on me? Come back to dad, hat, dad caps. All right, then I do the distressed dad hat. Then I do the closed back structured flex fit. Uh, the flex fit is pretty interesting because the in the inner side of it It doesn't have the like it doesn't have this part the snapback It just has like a flexible band on the inside after this I do the denim hat and I may experiment with something else because the denim hats don't sell that well Just letting you know from my experience selling a lot of hats and listing a lot of hats and then I come on over here We're almost done. I promise and I list the Yupong 6089 snapback which has all those colors and then I also list as the final one the finale the uh, auto cap snapback. So both of these cost 15 bucks base. 
and they both come in a ton of different colors so it gives customers a lot of options you know what's funny you know what's funny i just realized right before i started recording this i had to answer somebody on ebay that messaged me and he said why are your hats so expensive can't you make it cheaper and i was like dude i really can't so printful if you're watching if there's any way to bring the hat cost down that would be awesome and i guess while it's on my mind printful does reward you for being successful with a volume discount so if you're able to sell like a thousand dollars in a month i think they give you five percent off the next month and if you hit five thousand dollars i think they give you seven thousand dollars the next month of course these are subject to change i've seen these numbers change so maybe they'll make it easier to get the volume discounts maybe they'll make it harder i don't know um, but that is one way where they do actually um bring down the price a little bit you know like you can take seven percent 15 times 0.07 and that actually takes off a dollar and five cents. So it would bring, you know, this hat right here to um, $13.95 instead of $15 flat. So something worth considering, guys. Anyways, this was a fun video for me to make. I love talking about the hats. I know that I'm one of the few people that actually sell them, which actually I, I really like. So if not that many people see this video and, and I don't get a whole bunch of new competition springing up overnight, that would actually be awesome. Uh, but if you guys sell hats, let me know what your experience has looked like in the comments below. Thanks for watching till the end, guys. If you made it this far, do me a quick favor, drop a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed. Now, anybody that was wondering, I did reference my full print on demand course earlier. Uh, I'm currently reworking it to make it updated across the board for 2021. So if you would like to join, um, now is a great time. It walks you through exactly how I scaled my print on demand business to make six figure sales every single year. There's a link in the description. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys soon.